I have a big piece of news for people that sell digital products on Etsy. Adobe Illustrator just got a huge update that allows to create AI-generated vector images. That means that you can sell SVG files, which are the most popular files on Etsy and other marketplaces like Creative Fabrica or Creative Market for money. And the quality is actually really good. So in this video, I wanna give you a breakdown of how you can use this new AI feature from Adobe in order to create and sell AI-generated images, specifically the vector ones. SVG files are actually more popular than PNGs. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So this is the new Adobe Illustrator. And now I'm gonna show you how to create AI generated vector images using this tool. First thing I need to do, I just need to create a square where I wanna put an object, then I'm gonna click on select item. And then I'm gonna have this tab right here. This allows me to generate AI images. This is very similar to like generative field that has been on Adobe Photoshop for a while. If you play with this tool, it's pretty much the same thing. So all I have to do is just click on generate and type in what I want. So let's say I want a cute bunny and let's give it a shot and see what is gonna happen, what type of image we're gonna get from Adobe. And this is the image. And I actually got three different variations that I can switch to. And every single piece is editable. So for example, if I wanna take out the ear, I can do it very easily. If for example, I wanna change the color of that ear, I can click on recolor and this will open the tab. It contains all the color matches that are allowed here and I can simply just play with it and you know change it to the color I wanted. So let's say I wanted more yellowish tones. This is how I can do this very easily. And now the bunny has one ear that's pink and one that's yellowish. If I wanna change the size of the bunny's nose, I can just double click on it. And then simply I can just make it bigger if I want to. So for example, something like this. So I have a lot of freedom in regards of making those. Also, I don't have to worry about scaling this up just like I had to with my journey because I can just simply make the bunny bigger infinitely. And it's always gonna have the great resolution and quality just the way I want it. Now, since this is a vector image, it's also transparent. So if I save this as a SVG, I don't have to remove background. Everything is already done. Now let's use this tool in practice in real life. Let's say I wanna sell a Christmas clip art on Etsy. Let's take a look at some inspiration on Etsy that's currently selling. And then we will try to create something similar using Adobe Illustrator. So I'm on Etsy right now and we're gonna use Everbee, the product research tool that I have installed in my browser. This is Everbee, this is what I'm talking about. So for example, the keywords SVG files is getting 3,350 monthly results. The SVG file itself is getting almost 4,000. And let's compare this, for example, with PNG. And the keyword PNG files are getting 1,700 a month. And then the word PNG is getting 3,242. Basically, SVG files are getting more traction on Etsy. That's because a lot of print-on-demand people prefer SVG files because they always have good quality over the PNG files, which sometimes might require a bit more editing. So let's look up some Christmas AI generated images that are currently selling on Etsy, and then we're gonna use them as an example. So I found this bundle right here, and Etsy is telling me that this is a hot product right now. This item itself got 10 reviews. And if I look at the data from the Everbee, I can see that this item got 23 sales in the last month, which is pretty good. And it's just a bundle of, of mice wearing, you know, Christmas sweaters and things of the nature. It's a PNG file. So it's not the type of file that we're trying to create. We're trying to create the SVG file, but that's okay because we can use this PNG example to create an SVG file because that means that there is less competition for us and there's higher search for SVG files, just like we saw on Etsy. So overall, this is a good sign. So I'm back in Adobe Illustrator. I'm gonna use the square again. Now I'm gonna click on highlight, click on generate beta, and I'm gonna put my prompt, which is a cute tiny mice smiling and wearing a red Christmas hat. Let's see what's gonna happen. And here are the results. They're okay, but I would say most of these require a bit of work. For example, hands on this one, look a little bit off. So there is some fixing needed before you could use this, but the image itself, it's pretty cute, which is what we're aiming for. Remember, cuteness always sells on Etsy. So there's for sure some manual work required, but I wanna test out another feature that they also announced, which is apparently Adobe Illustrator is capable of copying the style and color scheme of an example. So what am I gonna do now? I'm gonna take a screenshot of one of these mice so let's say this one right here i'm gonna upload it to the adobe illustrator like this let's remove this one and i will try to use this one as a base 
for the AI. So again, I'm going to make a square, click on select, generate. And then there's this button right here that says style picker. So if I click on it and then I select the style I want to pick, apparently Adobe should copy the style of the original. So let's see what's going to happen when I click on generate. Okay, here are the results. I guess this mouse looks the most similar to that one. We also got this one as well. Well, it for sure seems like it pick up the colors. For example, I can see a little bit of green here and we have a green here. But when it comes to the look, I think this one is the most similar. Clearly this mouse has two tails for some reason. So we would need to remove the extra tail that we have right here. So something like this is better. And then maybe make this one smaller. That's better. But it seems like it did pick up the style. So maybe this is a better method of doing these images by giving the source material so Adobe has an easier way of picking up the style. Now, I want to test out this feature with changing the color scheme. Do you guys remember that cartoon when you were growing up? It was like motor mice from Mars or something. Some of you guys might remember. So let's say I want to change the color scheme to more of that space cyberpunk type of style. And I got this image right here. So I'm going to click on a recolor and, I, and I'm going to give them the color theme picker and select the image and let's see what happens. Well, it did work. It for sure changed the color scheme, but I think this one is not good because it just looks too dark. Let's try another one. So I uploaded a new picture. Let's try this method right here. Again, it does work, but it seems like this is just another good example because the mouse just doesn't look good. So this is what I think about this whole thing. It seems to me that this feature has a huge potential. I can see this being really great in the future if you want to create SVG bundles. But for the moment, it requires a bit of more of manual work. So sometimes the image is going to not look perfect. So you have to edit them or fix the feed or hands. So if you're a graphic designer, this is probably something very easy for you to do. But if you are more on the beginner level, maybe you want to stick to mid journey and PNGs instead of going into vectors just because this method will require more work from you. Check out the links down below in the description of this video to get access to the Ever Be the Product Research Tool for Etsy. Consider joining my YouTube membership to get access to monthly prompts, dropshipping products, as well as our private Discord where we have three meetings a day dedicated to different side hustles. That's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time. Take care.